Welcome back to Let's Play Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death. My burning dog face. And once again, my objective is to make sure not a single helicopter survives. Can I move over? I got stuck on invisible walls. Not in the middle of nowhere. Well, that sucks. Pyramid. A lot easier if I can see the bullets. So many goddamn explosions going off. It's hard for me to see them. Uh, mm. I thought I told you not to call me. Where are these guys come from? What happened to restarting the challenge and one of them got away? Drop something there, buddy. There it is. I think perhaps we should avoid these flying machines from now on. Either you're starting to make sense, or I got a concussion. <laughs> you could hardly sustain such an injury. Right. Spooky jungle magic. No, you're unusually thick skull. Well, at least I have a skull, float face. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh you. Aha! Oh, and more over here. Satisfying. Don't all the bugs in a jungle just cut out for a second there? Oh. Do it fine. Well, maybe I didn't pass that challenge, but I'm not gonna sweat it. Ferocious monarch scorpions! This guy really doesn't like monarch scorpions. Also, I'm pretty sure that was exactly the same voice clip as uh, the first time these things were introduced. I'll tell you what. Ah! Oh. I was gonna roll away dramatically, but I timed it wrong. Ow! Ow! 
Ow! I like that it's the, uh... The kick that's the strong attack in that combo. Hmm. Oh. I got greedy. Fine. You didn't even break a sweat. Achievement unlocked. Master of Arms. Kill enemy with each weapon. Had I really not done that with a hammer yet? Huh. Weird. I find myself thinking that I think the biggest shame of this whole thing is that with the developer no longer existing, we don't get to find out what Low Briggs game is like when uh, these guys have a really big budget to work with. Oh, don't mind if I do. How do I get up there? I just bring this in there. Is that an option? No. I didn't think so. There's a little lip there. Hmm. Butix. Yeah, I see the thing. I know I'm supposed to do that. I'm just... This game is a history of whisking you off to the next area. So I want to make sure I uh, don't know how to get up there. Before I uh, move on, you know? I thought I saw you guys over here. I mean, come on. I bet I could climb that wall. All right, fine, let's do the thing. The wings of the Condor. Now you are able to glide through the skies like the big god in Samna. Okay, I was not expecting that to happen. Doesn't give me any more height, though, so... Right, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, fine. Fine! I'll bring the thing over there. I just hope this game doesn't end on a cliffhanger. As you know, with a developer having gone into business, and there is basically zero chance of there ever being a sequel, that's, uh... I think that's actually worse than, uh... What the fu- oh, wrong... I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I think it's actually worse than Beyond Good and Evil ending with a cliffhanger when that game came out in, like, t 2003, I want to say. It's been a while. And, uh... You know, it's only just now they're working on the sequel. I'm for sure this is going to be an optional area. Guess not! Well, shit. Your new abilities will help you clear this chasm! 
Can I get a second opinion? Just jump, then glide. What could go wrong? You know, before I do that... Oh, it is full. Fine, and then we will start over from the beginning. 20 save slots is pretty generous. Usually it's either, like, 3 or infinite. Oh, oh. Nice landing. Oh, God. Oh! Optional goodies, huh? Don't mind if I do. Eh, they're not bothering anyone. More importantly, they're not bothering me, so... Hello! I totally whiffed that because I misjudged the distance. I'll keep doing it. Come on. Come on. Let's have it. Ah, oh, God. I will end you. So good. I'm noticing an, un uh, an unhealthy amount of possessed insects in this uh, jungle. Now, let's be fair, that's obviously because uh, it's later in the game and they need stronger enemies and we've been facing all of them. Huh? How, but um, you can't help but feel that it also means that whatever it is Long did to unleash these things is getting worse, or at least you know it's staying open. Take a look around. There's some goods there. The sacred warrior cannot be. Oh no, I guess I just kill everybody until that thing goes away. Fine. I know that includes the one I'm riding. I just want to make sure there's no other dudes waiting for me. This isn't creepy at all. Alright, very well. Rest in peace, Demon Steed. At least you're not possessed anymore. Yeah, I had a feeling something like that would happen. Excuse me. Before I forget. Oh no, there's totally no wall there, but... Ow. Yeah, if I had to make a criticism about this game, I mean... I'm, again, I'm pretty forgiving, because this game is less than ten bucks. But, uh... If I had to make a criticism of this game, I'd say that it relies a bit too heavily on invisible walls, when it could put actual barriers in the environment. I mean, how hard is it to just throw a... I don't know, throw a collapsed pillar across that gateway, as opposed to just nothing, and you just can't go in there because of arbitrary rules. Oh, look at that. There should be nothing preventing me from going in there. I mean, I get it, you know? You, there are places in games you don't want the player going. You can't all... Uh, every game can't be fear. A 
which I kind of use as the gold standard for realistic environments because it really does feel like an office building that just happens to have a bunch of uh, murderous goons inside of it. one was a while ago, so, uh... If you weren't around for that, uh... Damn! We're getting close! I was really impressed by the way that... Oh yeah, I should do that. Increase damage, 10% max health, new combos. direction, huh? There were a lot of rooms in Fear 1 that didn't serve a purpose, you see. I'm here. You find Long? No. I'm not sure where he could have gone. Wait. Hey. Marlo! Hey! Can you hear me? Kim, do you copy? Hello? Mm-mm. Something feels wrong about this. That's the wrongest the subtitles have been in the entire game. But okay. that? Oh, it's a grapple point. <laughs> oh. Made it. You know, you'd go into a, an area, and there'd be no ammo, no guns, you know, no lore lying around. That was almost very embarrassing. Oh wow, really? Oh, I'm supposed to be going here. Shit. Okay. I'm going to use my wisdom and save the game. And, uh, I'm gonna go this way first, because that way looks like one of those, uh, slidey ramps that this game is fond of. Oh, dear. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, I'm actually glad that happened. That's actually really cleverly placed. I know I complained about that early on, but that's really well done. Start to say that, yeah, there are areas in the first Fear game that serve absolutely no purpose to the player because it's just a fucking office building. Like, this is a place where they, like, go over graphs and have meetings about toner. 
not every room is going to be of uh, particular interest to your special forces guy. Oh, jeez. And his uh, slow motion abilities. Oh! Nice. Well, they're no longer alive. And that's done. So, uh... I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Marlowe Briggs and the Mask of Death. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I only have to head across the stupid bridge one more time. Later!